easy bit. All I have to do is stand here for a bit and talk about <laughs> Jesus and the resurrection, which I kind of like doing. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and that's fine. I, I was interested that we sang that hymn. I think it is originally a Swedish hymn. Yeah. yeah. And it is very kind of you to sing it in the English translation, except that the last verse is a bad translation. As I said in my book, Surprised by Hope, um, the eschatology of the original Swedish version is far superior to the eschatology of the English translation. But I will leave you to figure that out. It, it's in Surprised by Hope, I think. Um, and also, it's interesting because the hymn goes from the celebration of God in creation to the cross and then straight to the second coming and today I am filling in the gap that the hymn leaves out by talking about the resurrection. But it is a fine hymn and we enjoy it very much in England even though I fear that the last verse does slightly lead us astray eschatologically. But you can figure that out. Um, I've been asked to talk in this first lecture about why Jesus' resurrection matters. That might, at first sight, seem a rather strange question. Anyone who has any idea of the Christian story knows the shape of it, that the resurrection is one of the key moments in it. And yet, I suspect that many Christians in today's Western world, and certainly many non-Christians in today's Western world, do not have as sharp and clear an idea as they might do of why it, in fact, matters. 